from New York City, it's the Wendy Williams Show. How are you doing? The kids have come to play today. You won't believe what I'm about to tell you. With all due respect, have several seats. My girls are always turned out. I give it to you straight, no chaser. Now, here's Wendy! Yeah. Come on. You're the one! Thank you so much for watching our show! Say hello to my co-host, my studio audience. How are you doing? I'll explain. Let's get started. It's time for Hot Topics. everyone. So yesterday for Wendy Williams Day, this is the dress that I wanted to wear for you. It's suede. It's, it's, it's got, you know, a little cutout action. And it's a lot. I promise you tomorrow though, I'm gonna put everything away and I'll be back to normal, okay? I'll feature crinoline, how's that? But I broke the zipper yesterday so I couldn't wear it, so now, the, yeah, the tailor put the zipper back in, and so now I said, please let me just get this off just one day. Yeah. So, thank you. Oh, Kim and Kanye. Ooh. Congratulations on your two year anniversary. Ooh. Since I had to eat the crow, I might as well count. Counting Crow, they, they're married for 730 days. Wow. Yeah. Although I've been reading a lot. Uh, Kim and Chris Humphreys were only married for 72 days. So good for you, Kim. Longest marriage ever. <laughs> and since you have everything, I'm sending you nothing rich people. <laughs> Kelly Osborne uh, just put the hairstylist who allegedly had the affair with her dad, Ozzy, on blast. Ooh. Now I gotta tell you, I am team Kelly in a knee jerk kind of way. Here's what she said. Now you know this hairstylist was doing Kelly's hair, Sharon's hair, even Amy, the one that doesn't want to be involved in the reality. You probably don't even know, Kelly and Jack have an older sister, her name is Amy. But Amy, when the reality show came out years ago on MTV, Amy was like, no, no. So she lives a private life. But so this hairstyle, can you imagine going someplace where some woman is combing your hair, screwing around with your dad on the low? Oh. So Kelly goes, <laughs> anyone looking for cheap, chunky lowlights, a blowout, and a sexual favor that men like. <laughs> Call this number. Gave the girl's number on social media. <laughs> yes, yes! Strangers tried to blow up the phone and everything, and so, uh, by the way, the Bureau tried to blow up the phone as well. <laughs> Uh, but it was disconnected at that particular point. Um, how do I feel? I feel like Kelly is 31 years old and maybe needs to stay out of her mom and dad's mess. Just as, you know, a, a child, um, or, or a grown woman child. Um, but I definitely would have dressed my father up and down and never make him forget, behind the scenes. <laughs> to get on social media with this girl, I totally get that. It was probably after midnight a couple of Harvey Wallbangers. <laughs> and you know how that happens. By the way, um, 
she, she's got the tiara that I had on yesterday. Um, <laughs> Uh, and yes, today happens to be, I'm not lying to you, I swear. Today is National Tiara Day. <laughs> so if by chance you are at home right now, please wear a tiara and think of me. I was one day early, damn it, I left my tiara home, otherwise I would have given you a second day of it. Um, anyway, but back to the story. Um, Ozzy is 70 years old, that is not old. He knew what he was doing when he was messing around with the same woman who puts her paws in my daughter and my wife's hair. He knew what he was doing. But this girl also, look, this is not a girl, this is a grown woman, look at that neck. <laughs> look at this right here. That's a hard 45. <laughs> or 40, a good 45 or a hard 35. Anyway, she's grown. She knew what she was, Suzanne. She knew what she was doing. She did. She knew she was up to no good. <laughs> anyway, if I were the hairstylist though, okay, now I'm playing two sides to the coin. If I were the hairstylist, I would have kept my phone on with a voicemail message Hello, this is, you know, you know, Hen Henrietta Hairstyle. <laughs> and um, I'm not here right now, but feel free to leave me a message. By the way, um, if you wanna weigh in on what Kelly has to say, here's her cell phone number. <laughs> and Sharon, and Ozzy, and Amy. That's it. Oh. You remember um, yesterday when uh, my friend Andre Leontali was here and I mentioned to him about his friend, Lee Daniel, getting at their friend, Mariah Carey. And I said, okay, we'll cover it tomorrow in Hot Topics, but we kiki behind the scenes. But here's what's going on, okay. So Mariah's friend, Lee Daniels, you all know that they're friends, don't you? Yes. Lee is one of the empire empresses or something. <laughs> Um, and, and uh, you know, a great man. But anyway, he hates the fact that she's doing reality TV. Well, who's been saying this all along? <laughs> anyway, here's what he told our friend Bevy Smith, who is my cohort on Wendy Style Squad. Okay. <laughs> so now Lee says this. <laughs> <laughs> she is very fragile. She's been through a lot. She has been used, she has been abused. Some people don't have that Teflon sort of thing that I do. I don't know if it's a wise idea for her. I think that the true geniuses have to be saved from themselves. Oh. Well, don't save her. Um, on a serious note, I think that Mariah has been fragile since the beginning of everything. And remember she had that breakdown and she came on Carson Kressley on um, TRL. Carson Daly. Carson, Carson Daly, I'm yeah. sorry. How you doing Carson Kressley though? Uh, she came on Carson Kressley. Remember she had on the, the little tiny shorts and her shirt was knotted up and she pushed the good humor truck and she was acting nuts. And then she had to take a long supervised rest, and then she's back. But once you have a rest, there's always a chance that you might need to rest again, if you know what I'm saying. And I, <laughs> and I think you do. <laughs> so it's my opinion, it always has been, that um, reality TV is not for Mariah, because Mariah is, first of all, she's bigger than that. That's, that's, number, that's number one, okay? Way bigger. And even on her worst vocal day, she outsings the rest. Yeah. Are we clear about that? Yeah. All right. Now, I am not a lamb, but I know how to call two sides to a coin in my own voice. I don't think that she needs to be doing this cheap, tawdry reality show for E. I will give it a shot, though, and watch, because it's good for my business, yeah. but not for hers. Yeah. So, 
So Lee goes, he goes like, right, so she's downtown Manhattan, someplace here, eating fancy. And she makes the phone call, darling, to Lee. Summons him, now at the restaurant. I'm doing a docu-series. So I guess he thinks it's gonna be something like Truth or Dare. Remember how Truth or Dare wasn't a reality show? It just showed Madonna, truthing and daring. It was fun, I, I like it. I, that and Paris is Burning, and the Sex and the City movies, and Waiting to Exhale, and um, Eight Mile. There are a few things that I watch regularly. And so, <laughs> so Lee gets to the restaurant, right? And she goes, sign this. And then he realizes, this is, a, this is a reality, are you serious? You're doing a reality show? So I don't know whether these two are friends or not. Personally speaking, if I were Mariah, I would have a problem dealing with Lee at this particular point because you've exposed stuff to hot topics and the world. And we could have had this conversation. On the other hand, maybe he tried to have this conversation with his good friend after hours at her home and maybe she doesn't listen. I don't know, but we're following this story. Thank you. <laughs> So now, and so now Madonna is responding to people who hated her tribute to Prince. And here's what she wrote on her Instagram. It was something very nice and very PC, but what else is she supposed to say? I think that the, the singing was horrible, like I told you, but I thought she looked great. And even, even with the horrible singing, who else is going to do it for the Billboard Music Awards? You know, I personally, Madonna. Anyway, she says, anyone who wants to do a tribute to Prince is welcome to. Whatever your age, gender, or skin color, if you loved him and he inspired you, then show it. I love Prince forever. Well, um, I still have no problem with Madonna at Billboard. I don't have a problem that she only brought out one person, which was Stevie Wonder, to help her uh, <laughs> get through it. Uh, but I am looking forward to what BET is going to be serving up because they threw shade at Madonna's performance with a hashtag at the bottom of the advertisement for the BET Awards, which is next month. The hashtag is, yeah, we saw that. Don't worry, we got you. Talking to Prince. So we'll, we'll be watching. We will. And um, Sierra is lashing out at MTV who tried to stir up uh, drama between she and Rihanna. Now you remember, Rihanna and Sierra have been feuding for quite some time. It was back when Joan Rivers was alive, alive and uh, Sierra went on Fashion Police and said something salty about um, a Rihanna outfit and Rihanna got back at her quick, <laughs> quick. So while Rihanna was hosting the, but that was years ago, that was before Russell, be, you know, th that was years ago. Now Sierra's got her own thing going on. As long as she can secure this with Russell, it's gonna be all good. If she has to go back to singing. <laughs> Cause one of the things that Rihanna did say when she was clapping back at Sierra, she said something about go get on that thing you call a stage or something to, it was shady, like no one's going to see Sierra. Anyway, um, while Sierra was hosting the Billboard Music Awards, MTV tweeted, you know Sierra won't say Rihanna's name. Well, I didn't realize that she was required to, or maybe that's when I switched to another channel. I don't know. I, I mean, Sierra also doesn't say futures. See, the thing is, Sierra, you gotta say everybody's name. <laughs> just, just say it, even if you don't want to. I haven't talked to my parents in two days. Oh. On account of the outfits. Oh. I know they're watching. <laughs> Tam, look at your daughter. <laughs> yup, watch me, watch me. Ooh, watch me, watch me. Ooh, watch me, watch me. Ah, ah, ah. Funny how even when you're grown and you pay your own bills, I don't know, there's some of us who still are a little fearful, just slightly fearful of the parents. We don't wanna hear what they have to say about side cutout and boobage. <laughs> I'll wait until the dust settles, that should be about Friday.
Okay, Sierra goes about Rihanna. Thought she was amazing, one of the best performances of the night, don't understand the need to go here. What's the point? Furthermore, who's the newbie tweeting on behalf of MTV? Well, guess what? MTV tweeted back and apologized to Sierra because guess what? It was a newbie. Oh. See, and I was watching the news the other day and a lot of companies, maybe you work for one, I don't know. A lot of companies hire like interns or people getting paid like squalor. Um, and, and put them in charge of social media, like blowing it off, like, oh, it's just social media, you know, it just, just get over there and tweet something. And these kids, <laughs> these kids go ham with this. <laughs> you can't, you can't, I mean, you have to have real responsible people to handle it. MTV, I'm shocked at you. Yeah. Like, really, you're chintzing having some intern do your tweeting? It's very irresponsible, just saying. <laughs> so, uh, Sean Penn and Charlize Theron had this really awkward run-in. Now, they were both over in Cannes promoting their new movies. Uh, this is the one that he directed and she starred in while they were dating for a nanosecond that they dated. Remember, she introduced her son and I was saying all along, it's too soon to bring the boy in. And remember, the son and, and Sean ate off the same snow cone. <laughs> and I'm like, why are they swapping germs? <laughs> Like, like, anyway, so they, now they're all broken up. Allegedly it was because he was a real boss to her at the movie. Like, cut, Charlize, you could do better than that. Do it again. And she's all like, are you serious? Okay. And so now they're broken up. The little boy is probably running around talking about, where's Mr. Sean? <laughs> That's what happens when you introduce your kids to a man too soon. Uh, anyway, they had to promote the movie and of course their photo ops and they got to spin around the world doing this. Well, if you notice, they are far away from one another. Here's little Sean and then here's Charlize um, and, and the other people in there. Yup, exactly. It's gotta be awkward. Like to me, you don't commingle business until after a while of being together, like a while. And I don't know what a while is, but it certainly isn't after only dating for six. For, uh, 18 months. 18 months. That's not a while enough. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> so this movie is being panned by the critics, critics, which makes it worse, because now Charlize was bossed around f for nothing, because it's a flop, allegedly. And, and Sean, it, the hothead that we think that he is based on, you know, previous behavior, this is their Gili. You know, remember Ben and Jen? This is, this is their Gili, that's it. Everyone has one in their lives. And so, uh, Sean and Charlize, this is you all's. That's it, let's move along. Why is my mouth watering over a story that we talked about in Hot Topics, which we probably won't get to, regarding caviar and toast points? Mm-hmm, yeah. <laughs> what was that story? Um, Dr. Cosby. Oh, Dr. Cosby. Oh, we never got to that? Uh-uh. <laughs> Can we get to it now? If you want to. Yeah. Yes! <laughs> okay. Emma Stone will talk about you tomorrow. Look, so Bill Cosby is back in the news, as you know. Um, we have not forgotten, I don't care who passes away, who wins awards, what goes on. That's what we're here for, to remind you. Stay focused, people. Bill Cosby uh, made um, a deposition in 2005, and the deposition has been revealed. He admitted, um, as you might know or might not remember, ha having sex with two teenage girls. Now, everybody else who's accused him, the statute is up, but these teenage girls, one was 19 and one was 17. And guess what? While they were doing the Cosby show, allegedly, over in the Kaufman Astoria Studios in Queens, there was his agency, William Morris, who he's no longer with. The agency would send five to six models, allegedly, per week to the set of the sitcom. Okay, which means somebody more than Bill Cosby needs to pay. And I don't care if it's... I don't care if it's the person that buzzes the front door in. You're accountable. 
the agents accountable. I want to hear what Felicia Rashad has to say. I want to hear what Rudy and Theo, uh, well, I want to hear what everyone has to say. And these girls, it is alleged, uh, cause Dr. Co Bill, I mean. <laughs> Bill is saying that he never took a Quaalude because they make him sleepy. And so he was asked, well, how do you know they make you sleepy? How do you know? <laughs> and he said, because, you know, after surgery, I guess back in the olden days, they wouldn't give you like whatever the pain medication is, they'd give you a lube, which is what we called them in high school. <laughs> anyway, um, so these girls are saying that they would go and he would give them a nice meal. And that's where I got distracted. I'm like, mmm. <laughs> a nice meal off a millionaire's budget. What would I have? And I decided the beluga caviar in the tin, and I, but I wanna see you untin it, and I want my toast points, like my color. Like not real light toast, don't burn the toast. Cut the crust off and give me a little tiny spoon, not a fork, cause the caviar falls through. Caviar is so decadent, I don't have it a lot, but if somebody wealthy is whining and dining me, that's my meal. Yeah. That's all. And we'll be following that story. Oh, they're the maracas. Come on out, Suzanne. Always wanted to see running for the run, yes. running with the bulls. Well, bull well fights. yeah, uh, bullfights are big in Mexico. Yes, Central Mexico. It, Central Mexico, yeah. and yeah, ole! All right, well, let's get our contestant on the phone. Olé! We're calling Honolulu, oh. home of the macadamia. Hello, oh. Bill. Hello. Is this you? How you doing? Oh, you, good. Bill, it's Wendy and Suzanne, and Michael Lee is here too. How you doing? Hi, Bill. Oh, I'm doing just fine. What what time is it there? Three o'clock yeah. in the morning? Yeah, it's four. <laughs> four, <laughs> exactly. Well, Bill, it's nice to have you here. You're my contestant on Wendy's Vacation Giveaway. Yeah! yeah. yeah. So now, so much we're gonna spin the umbrella and find out what you're playing for. Oh, here we okay, go. Okay, Suzanne. All right, here we go. I like the hat. <laughs> Play for a five-day Fortnite vacation at the all-inclusive Playa Car Palace in Playa del Carmen, Mexico. We'll fly you and a guest to this breathtaking property by Palace Resorts, featuring one of Mexico's most celebrated dining experiences. Okay, Bill. Yeah! All right. That's where you're going? You're gonna have 15 yeah. seconds to guess That's correctly, it. okay, Bill? Okay. Okay, Bill. <laughs> Mr. 4 a.m. Okay, yeah, on, uh, it was early. All right. <laughs> Bill, Andre Leon Tolley was a guest on our show yesterday. What size yeah. did he say his shoes are? And go! 17. Yes! Oh! You're going from one fabulous place to another. Enjoy yourself in Mexico, Bill. Go back to sleep, dear. And make sure that you watch our show every day because we might be calling you next.